Look at how small they are. It's only like two and a half inches. And you'll notice so much variant between these two. This guy has so many spots. This guy is black with a little bit of spots. But they're both blue spotted salamanders and they're both basically full grown here. Yo, uh, you wanna film something today? I'm not your house. Alright, sounds good, man. Hey, what's up, man? It's cracking. I'm gonna skate real quick. You gonna okay. skate? Do you care? No, that's fine. Alright, let's get it. What you drinking? H2O. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wait. Nice, ooh. Twelve seconds later. Alright, so the skate session wasn't really a success. But Vinny's taking along. And we got Aisha. She's also taking along. So yeah, let's get to the road. Alright guys, we're at the park. Alright, let's go. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh. Hey guys, this is Dan from Pinpoint Wildlife. And today we're looking at the blue spotted salamander. One of the coolest salamanders ever. And actually my first salamander I've ever found was the blue spotted salamander. And look at these, these are actually adults. Look at how small they are. It's only like two and a half inches. And you'll notice so much variant between these two. This guy has so many spots. This guy is black with a little bit of spots. But they're both blue spotted salamanders and they're both basically full grown here. So, not too long ago, me and a couple of my friends went to this very forest to find out if we can find a salamander and you know, who could find the salamander first. And what you'll notice is in this park, we found a salamander actually pretty fast. And that's because if you look at the right place in the right location, you're actually prone to finding these a lot faster than just looking anywhere. And keep it going because we're gonna learn a lot about the blue spotted salamander and what they tend to do in their secretive nature when we're just chilling in our house. So what is the blue spotted salamander? Well, I would describe them as a very mysterious amphibian, mostly due to their secretive nature, and like other salamanders, they remain hidden for most of the year, only emerging every now and then to get out of their hides to breed. But others might call it cute, you know, it's cute for some people. Um, not for this guy. Blue spotted salamanders have just amazing coloration. The color blue is like so rare in nature. It's actually the rarest color you'll see. Only a small percentage of plants and animals will share that blue coloration. And on top of this, this is the first salamander I've ever found. So it kind of, it also holds a very special place in my heart. I love these guys, blue spotted salamanders. Always really fun to find them. Now let's take a look at the blue spotted salamander taxonomy, okay. Don't know what that means. Uh, oh yeah, Ambistomatidae. Um, still lost? That basically means mole salamander, 
and we know mole salamanders also group in the tiger salamanders and that's right if you remember from our last species checklist we did the tiger salamander which was a mole salamander so if you haven't checked that out it's in the i card above it's also going to be in the description i highly recommend it if you're interested in the salamander related content it's really fun stuff and yeah they're both mole salamanders so what makes them both mole salamanders well what do moles do most of their life they chill underground so mole salamanders are chilling half the year underground. In other words, they're fossorial. For those of you living in the Midwest, you know how cold it gets. And these salamanders definitely need to be fossorial to survive that frigid winter. Otherwise, they stand no chance. But being fossorial doesn't make you immune to the snow. You need to have thousands of years of evolution on your belt to really survive those below zero winters. The first few weeks, that the snow starts to melt, the salamanders climb over the remaining ice into their breeding ponds, which I should mention is really cold. Like, like really cold. Like polar plunge cold. Like I'm talking frozone cold. Like your parents buying you the same scooter for Christmas when you're 12 and you wanted the faster electric one. That's how cold it is. So you're only gonna see them when it's cold as balls or it happens to be a heavy overcast with a lot of wormy snacks walking around. So. You're not really going to find one out and about if you're just camping, but I feel like that's what kind of makes them cool. Okay, so they don't freeze during the winter. They survive basically all year. Are these things just invincible? Uh, well, not really. The IUCN does mark the blue spotted salamander as least concern, but scientists still say the blue spotted salamanders are an indicator species, meaning rapid changes in the environment if they were to occur they would probably be the first to go. I'm concerned about how little we know about them and how most people don't even realize they exist. Ignorance is not bliss, it is a recipe for extinction. I don't know, I got that quote from that website. The article it definitely isn't wrong though. I don't wanna see the blue spotted salamanders going extinct or anything like that because they are a vulnerable species and these things are so cool and not a lot of people know about them. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you, if you really liked it, you know, hit the like, hit the subscribe, check out some of my other videos, um, try to promote my content, I'm trying to grow here, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I cry. <laughs> for the content, that's what I do for you guys, you gotta subscribe. What do they need to do? Subscribe and like, don't forget to like and share it with all your friends. Your all of them, all of them. Tell your grandma to subscribe.